So in a recent survey by one login, it was found that 77% of the respondents found they are working under stress because of COVID pandemic. Citing related to work from home and broader economic situation. Divorce rates are soaring due to both spouses working from home. 24% admitted that they are self-medicating with alcohol, narcotics, prescription medication to deal with the stress. One login also found that 80% of respondents were using some form of exercise, while only 40% relied on some kind of medication, uh, meditation, and 11% were using therapy, as this was not offered free from their companies. 86% said that the workload has increased during the pandemic. In another leadership survey by Global Leadership, 60% of the leaders found that by the end of workday, they felt being used, which is a common sign for saying that I'm burned out. 26% of these leaders are planning to leave their jobs by the end of the year. Only 20% feel productive working virtually. So how is your company supporting your employees during this pandemic? Think about this, it's a serious question because tech is the most stressed right now because tech is required in every virtual experience that we are offering right now while we are in this pandemic. So in today's presentation, laughing it out using human hope to cope with COVID-19, I'm gonna share a great concept called laughter yoga I'm sure some of you might be practicing it already because it's very, very popular, not only in India, but now globally, thanks to many practitioners out there. So laughter yoga is also great for corporate world. It reduces stress, boosts our immune system, bringing more oxygen in the brain to improve our efficiency. Yes, for all of you who want efficiency from your employees, it's a great way to get that from our employees, especially right now, since we are actually working longer hours than ever before. So today, what we are going to do is we're going to laugh till we forget about all the stress that is bothering us thanks to COVID in our lives. So let's start with this. So there are four steps to yoga. I mean, laughter yoga here. So the first one is clapping. So whenever I start clapping, you clap with me, okay? Then the next one is breathing in and holding that breath for three seconds okay and then generally the third step is playing it like a child so we'll clap again and say ha 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 clap again ha 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 we'll follow through i'm sure you will catch the drill and the last one will be exercises that allow us to laugh out from a diaphragm the whole idea is we have to laugh as deep as possible because usually even when we are laughing we don't laugh that deep which actually helps reduce the stress levels in our body and that's what I feel is most important right now, especially as I'm here spreading hope and happiness that people can actually look at their mental well-being because that's the serious problem out there, especially after the two years of being locked down, avoiding social distancing, I mean, uh, practicing social distancing and everything. Today, this is important that we try to connect to a deeper core that keeps us happy at the same time. So thank you, let's start now. So let's start with clapping exercise, okay? One, two, ha, ha, ha. 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 So we are going to now try this exercise for breathing in, breathing out, okay? This is just a sample to test it out. So breathe in. Hold your breath for three seconds. So just count one, two, three, then go, ha. Again, we'll start again, okay? One, two, ha, ha, ha. One, two, ha, ha, ha. Then breathe in. Ah, release. Okay. So then we are going to go into deeper exercises where we will play with laughter on this. Okay. I hope you can all join me. I'm sure today has been a great experience learning from all these great speakers and facilitators and panelists. But right now, I'm sure you are kind of stressed. So why not release it before we end the day with the last panel that will come after this? Thank you. So let's start. Okay. So let's start clapping. One, two, ha, ha, ha. One, two, ha, ha, ha. One, two, ha, ha, ha. Now let's breathe in. Hold for one, two, three. You release it. Ha. Okay, let's do it again. One, two, ha, ha, ha. One, two, ha, ha, ha. One, two, ha, ha, ha. Breathe in. Ready? One, two, three. 
<sighs> okay. So now we're going to follow some other exercise. So we're going to do a laughter exercise, which is called Namaste. So every time we, we do a Namaste sign, we're going to laugh back out. Okay, ready? So hold your two hands together, say Namaste. <laughs> Again, we're going to do it. Okay. So hold your two hands together, say Namaste to all of our fellow guests. <laughs> okay. So the next one we are going to try is called the milkshake version. So we're going to hold two glasses in our hand. So we're going to toss the milkshake to make a nice thick milkshake. Okay, ready? Hoo, ha, hoo, ha. Then laugh it out. <laughs> Pour the milkshake out. Let's make it again. Hoo, ha, hoo, ha. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Now we'll try another one. Generally in a larger room, we would do this like facing another person and laugh it together. So why don't you just face to me and laugh at me? How that sound, okay? So let's go with this. So you go, ha, 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 ha. Then you go, clap your hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ha, 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 Thank you. So I'm just trying to make you feel that this kind of exercise could be practiced throughout the day, especially when we are working on a full hour uh, by an hour, maybe every two hours you could take a break and do this during that break. I know COVID has changed our working habits, but I'm sure as we come back, which many companies are coming back to physical work, uh, environment will be very different because people will be coming with a lot of mental well, well issues where we will need to be more inter, in, interactive with our audience, especially our employees, where you will actually need to bring in psychologists to help people deal with the stresses that they are bringing back to work. Uh, I don't think anybody has been spared. Uh, many people have lost loved ones. Maybe they've gone through their own COVID experiences. And definitely, I would suggest everyone, whoever has not gotten a COVID vaccination, is to get COVID vaccination done. So are there any more questions out there? Anything to ask, you know, kind of stress-related issues? Uh, Dr. Tezani, we haven't received any questions, but okay. uh, here's a shout out to all those who are watching. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, if you want to share something with uh, Dr. Tehrani, why don't you go ahead? Yeah, please. So usually I have a lot of questions coming after. Don't be shy. Um, we still... Um... So what we, the request that we have is, can we do the first stress exercise again? Okay, the breathing one or the clapping one? Uh, I think it's the breathing one. Okay, let's do that again. That's actually very helpful, especially during a stressful day. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna hold our breath in for three seconds, okay? So we'll start again. So hold your two hands together, breathe in. Hold yourself tight. So, you know, feel, feel the pressure building up in your body. Then when you release it, <laughs> so laugh it out. Go as deep as possible to the diaphragm because you want to release all the toxic energy that's blocking inside your body. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> then we're gonna clap. One, two, ha ha ha. One, two, ha ha ha. One, two, ha ha ha. Did that help? I, I I hope it has. Um, Dr. Tehrani, does this work as well uh, if you are alone? Because, you know, I see a lot of people in our park doing this, you know, that in the morning they take a walk and then uh, exactly. uh, they clap and they laugh. Uh, is it as effective if you're alone working from home? Actually, you can do it alone. But see, I'm sure nobody's actually really alone at home. You could do it with your spouse. You could do it with your children. Children love doing this because it excites them that the parents are willing to laugh with them. Because actually what we are trying to do here is to be as playful as a child, laugh like a child does deeply. 
because most of us, as we grow up older, we are shy of laughing because we are afraid people judge us. And the way we laugh might seem like we are crazy. And that's the objective here, to laugh as crazily as possible, to let go of our stresses of the day. But would you recommend that we do this with family members? Definitely. It's a great, great tool to work on at home. This builds up a stronger bond with your family members, even with your parents. If you have older parents at home, they won't don't mind. Everybody wants to laugh nowadays. Why not? We all have some kind of stress bothering us. Otherwise, if you are really alone at home, there's some great videos out there on YouTube. Laugh with those people because at the end, you're not laughing alone. You're laughing at somebody else. Right. And for companies, do you think uh, they should regularly organize things like this, you know, between their employees working from home so that, you know, they feel more uh, motivated? What's nice to do is start the morning with this laughter yoga and maybe end the uh, evening when the day is over with laughter yoga. So what happens is you de-stress them before they get to work and you de-stress them before they go back to their home life. All right. That's only okay. 10 minutes in the start and 10 minutes in the end. The whole idea is this builds up some kind of bonding, which is what we need because we are working so close, even though uh, virtually, but I think this will build a stronger bond and that's what we need because we must let go of stress together because we all have some form of stress for sure. Yes, that's true. We all uh, deal with stress and we cope with stress in our own ways. Uh, but let's hope, um, you know, of course, this pandemic, we all come out stronger and uh, more connected with each other, whether we use technology, whether we use our own, uh, you know, face-to-face -face meetings, let's hope we all come out stronger and happier. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Dr. Thank Irmani. You. It's a great pleasure. For being your here. session. Thank you. So, um, Dr. Irmani has shown you important ways and uh, there are top uh, some tips and tips on how you can cope well with the stresses of working from home, uh, working during a pandemic. Uh, you may be stressed about your health. You may be stressed about meeting targets uh, when you know there is a dent uh, in the barn. Uh, I'm sure all of these will help you uh, relax and look at life in a more positive and optimistic manner. So mm -hmm. do uh, try some of these uh, tips and uh, methods that Dr. Dimlani has showed you, and I'm sure you'll be happier. Uh, I'm here, if it. you need any uh, suggestions, send me a message, a shout out on LinkedIn or Facebook. I'll be more than happy to send you some material that could help you incorporate these ideas right away in your workspace.